Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We are in Drummond Island, exactly where we left off. We've just built the bridge. There it be. Now we need to work out what we're doing next. So job-wise, we have Cousin Cletus, which is to pick up the two oil barrels. So we're going to go and get that. Now we have... Oh, we've already delivered one, haven't we? We've just got one left, which is off over here. So we'll go and get that. That'd be a good way to start the day. Now, as is often the case in the past, I've never had an issue with this job, so uh, <laughs> no doubt we'll fall off the edge of this cliff today. Trying to get straight in. I don't want to mess about too much because we did eat into the, the day when we left off. So we've got to try and get shifting. I think it's probably about 25 past 8 now after sort of coming out and then coming back in. Have I missed my turning? Oh, that's not good, is it? I always miss that turning. Where is it? Oh, right on it. I haven't missed it. It's here. <laughs> in on straight yeah we over we over ran a little bit in trying to get that bridge complete they didn't want to be sort of part way through and then once we've got this done I think our next sort of two or three jobs are probably in Island Lake and for those I think we're gonna want the White Western Star Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's concentrate on this one. As always, uh, thank you very much for joining me today and continuing to support the series. And I hope you are all very well. A pleasant evening this evening. We've got the sun beating through the window. So uh, I'm in a good mood. Let's, let's not let Snow run a spoiler. <laughs> just need to come around and pretty much park ourselves on the edge here. Now, I think... Oops, put the handbrake on. I think I might find it easier. To get in a position to drive out first. It's not easy to... Uh, get a truck out that way. This I know from experience. I haven't checked my fuel yet either, so I might regret that. We should be good. If not, I'm pretty sure we've got another vehicle out here. Again, it's been a it's been a couple of days since I last recorded. Just have not had the time I've been hoping to to get. Right, that should do us. Get the anchor out. Get a crane out. It'll soon. It'll soon whip up there. You can pretty much get it straight away and just pull it up. Sometimes because of the uh, the distance, though, it doesn't. There you start to get that tip, so you have to be careful. Bring it around a little bit, and as it comes in closer, you can beam out a little bit more. Perfect. I'll 
drops in, hopefully that'll pack. Out of here. Get this one to clear us. If I were, I'm trying to think, in Island Lakes, I think we've got the. Is, is it the, the pylons or is it telephone poles or electric poles or something? Something to do with poles that we need to get done. And then um, I think we've still got to establish the logging camp. I'm pretty certain we already pulled the cart cider through, and then the truck, the the vehicle we need out, or the the goods we need after that are, are out on the map. So that shouldn't, again, shouldn't be shouldn't be too difficult. Pretty easy. Everything should be pretty easy. I just make it look difficult. <laughs> this is my thing. Making this game look harder than it is. Yeah, let's see if we can snag some fuel from somewhere. Off the top of my head, I can't quite recall where we've left everything. I didn't want to waste any of the sort of early day look around since I knew we were already starting later than 8 anyway. It's just how it is. I can say when we go through to Alaska, we might change and go from 7 till 7. I just feel like I, I run out of like early, early day daylight really quick. I think it's just because I feel that <laughs> that pressure of getting stuff done. Because I watched my man Wessel, and he, he runs a similar sort of clock, 8 till 8, sometimes a little bit under, sometimes a little bit over, but 8 till 8. And when I'm watching, I feel like the, the day part at the beginning of each episode is a lot longer than the day that I have, but it's not. Like we start at the same time. It just feels that way. I just feel the pressure all the time. Our lovely flip little fleet has been uh, doing a good little number on us. If you do enjoy your snow runner, and um, if you check out the sort of re-uploads of the Twitch streams. Um, you may or may not have seen, but they are going to change, and we're going to be streaming the the Twitch series, the live series. We're going to be streaming that on on YouTube going forward. So I've just been having a lot of issues with Twitch lately, and or not lately. It's been like a week or two ago now, but relevant to this episode going out, it's. I think we've got maybe a week on the schedule as of this video coming out of the the old twitch streams and then after that we'll be we'll be going live with um, snow runner normal mode a lot of messing about and just having fun with it and we'll be doing that on tuesdays and thursdays trying to keep it like we did over on uh, on twitch so if you want to come join us for some live snow runner as well as some pre-recorded and see how we do things differently that should be coming live very soon. I think the thing, the, the thing that I find annoying about the, the bitrate issue that I've started having on on Twitch is that I enjoy streaming over there. Like the interactivity is just much better. I I find and I feel. And um, yeah, I was actually looking to move all of my live live streaming over to Twitch and, and not stream anymore on YouTube. But the last month or two, I just keep having bitrate issues and we keep completely disconnecting and, and losing everything. So it seems silly to keep keep doing it if it's going to give us a, a poor outcome. So there we are, another job done. 340 XP and another two grand in the bank. Nearly up to 80,000. 
which is nearly enough to buy the truck that I want when we start Alaska. That's not good, is it? It's not good. We've got some big paying jobs coming up soon, but we, we really should be at about 100 grand now. Pushing, pushing about 100 grand. Right, before I drive off anywhere. We have, what have we got here? That's our scout pulling there, pulling there. Our fuel is there. So, if I just check, no more tasks. And I think it's Husky Forwarding. Yeah, Lumber Mill Revival and Power Lines. That's what it is. Power Lines. So we need to get those done. And the best thing for those will be the White Western Star, which clearly is in Smithsville. Now we've just got those timed jobbies left here. White Western Star. So we'll jump to her. Now that trailer, I think we brought that in. Yeah, right. Is it empty? What is going on with that trailer? I don't remember that. Oh, it is empty, yeah. This is this one that we've already uh, depleted. Right. So. Trailers, trailers, trailers. We've got... Um, fuel carrier is there. We don't want either of them. I believe... Believe, believe, believe. That we can, we can get the metal in uh, it's been so long now I think we can get metal here yeah metal beams from there but where is our nearest trailer what's in this one I think that's got stuff in it I just can't remember. Why can't I remember what's in these things? Yeah. And that trailer there. That's right. But well, what we'll do, we'll do the... Uh, we'll do the lumber yard first, anyway. So let's head on. Let's head on. Head on out. Yeah, like I say, these, these two jobs aren't really all that difficult, so it should be fine. The, the chore is now getting through the swamp and actually into Island Lakes. And again, we've poorly planned, poorly planned out and we're doing a lot of things to ask about face and we're going back over where we've already been. Lessons learned. Next time, perhaps we'll try and take a little bit more time when we get to Alaska. Like in my head, ages ago, like a month ago, I had my my Alaskan route sort of planned out for scouting uh, because we'd not long. Left Alaska, excuse me, not long left Alaska on my other save. And also, I'd been pottering about in Alaska on my console save because I have so much snow running on the go. Hence why I get confused. Uh, Rusty has pointed this out, but this is why I have troubles remembering stuff. I have too many, too many saves. Anyway, yeah, and I was pottering about in there. And I, I, on my console save, I, had, I did a really nice, without even trying, I had a really nice route around, did lots of things. No sweat. But no doubt, by the time I get there, I'll barely remember any of it. But we'll see, we'll see what I can do.
as as we're recording this on on my uh, on my live stream series, we're actually in time here and having quite a bit of fun there. And it was quite quite a challenge to find all the upgrades. Spent the stream pretty much just looking for the last two. It was quite sure. Try not to cheat. If you gave up, and I say we, I gave in and had a look on map runner to find them. So I'm hoping by the time we get there for this series, I'll still remember where everything was without having to look. I'm sure it'll just just come back to me as we arrive. But again, we use completely different vehicles on those other saves. Completely different. <laughs> I think I've mentioned it already many, many times, but on, on my console side, I run around with uh, a couple of ANKs in Alaska, just because they're quite fun with the uh, all-wheel drives and stuff like that. It's all-wheel drive always on, diff lock always on. We use the civilians, so we've got the different beds we can put on the back. Did a lot of work with those. Out there. I'm still a little undecided as well on whether we should, on this series, after we've done the initial three, <laughs> this has been getting so far ahead, after we've done three of these whole maps, after we've done the initial three, whether to go for them in, in release order, or just in a bit of a random order, or just, just to do something a bit different, so we unlock different vehicles from others that have done it. Or whether we stick to release order here and then I uh, jump around on the other one. So I was probably going to jump around on the other one a little bit anyway. Because we have a lot more freedom with vehicles over there because we, uh, we have money. Because we've, we've uh, not got paper fuel or anything. What I'm saying is, should I go and find out whatever map it is that allows you to build the gas station? or the, the, the oil refinery, whatever it is you build that gives you free diesel. Because I know there's something out there that gives you free diesel. Should be going to find that. I'll try and get that set up. Or do we like take a, an easy one, or a relatively easy one? I don't know. I've not done it, but it seems like it could be easy one. The I think it's Tennessee, where I think there's only one or maybe two maps, and it's, it's all about sort of truck racing and stuff like that. So that's what I'm wondering. There we go, Island Lake. So we'll Lumber Mill Revival. Concrete blocks and metal beams. Well we've got we got one of them in there, and I think maybe the other one piece might be in there. Somewhat like that. I think once we then get those done, we can start to uh, clear out the old drills and stuff on here. There's still, once again, there's still a fair bit of work to do here.
and when we do those other jobs we'll be able to uh, hoss about with the twin stick which is always fun we're going to see if we can spare the time and the fuel to get it back to the garage once we've done jobs here get it back to our garage and maybe tune it up a little bit so we can use it for even more jobs later on You know me, I love to throw money at these vehicles. But I'm sure we must have one or two upgrades that work on it anyway. Not many, but one or two. Part. So that one's got metal beams. I swear this one's got concrete blocks in it. You get metal beams from there. Oh, that's got metal beams and concrete blocks in it. There we go. That's what we want. That's the one. It's just... Yeah, one metal beam, yeah. So then we've got one metal beam to take with the other trailer that we can... Uh, used to repair one of the power lines and then we'll grab two more that will fit in the trailer once it's empty I can't remember not to do that too often because you end up getting quite a, quite a hole there on the left hand side if you keep dropping into it. out there haven't we it was so long ago for me when we did that probably so long ago for you guys as well It's already starting to get dark now. 
and I feel like I've only just started, but it has been about 25 minutes. We are almost halfway through. Route. We should have probably gone out the way we came in, but this is the way we're facing. I know when we've done this before, we just get towing ourselves or <laughs> winching ourselves out to across the swamp land straight, straight across, but we won't do that today. I won't uh, put you guys through that. We want to get the job done. We want to endure that. If I recall the last time we did that, I had something a fair bit more powerful than the uh, White Western as well, so yeah, definitely we'll be trying it. Clicking and that clanking of the, the beans and the blocks. I love it. I was on Reddit the other day and someone was asking, What do you listen to when you uh, when you play Snow Runner? What's your favourite thing to listen to? And before I could put it down, I could scroll down, read some of the responses, and someone had put the, the clicking and the clicking and clanging and banging of my metal beams. It's like too true. What else do you need? This bridge isn't too much of a problem. And then as we come off, we're going to try and give ourselves a nice wide swing as we come in. Try and get our wheel to run just along that edge. And that will give us the... Uh, the best track and for the trailer behind as it tracks round with us saves the uh, the back right coming off or getting stuck or risk pulling us in well that can be a bit of a visage not gonna lie There we are, all done. 590 for that and um, nearly five grand as well. So we're up to 83,000, which is all very good. So next up, it should have automatically jumped us to power lines. And for now, let's go jam this down here out of the way. And on most of my other playthroughs as well, I usually use the off-road trailers mod pack, which obviously we're not using because we're not going to waste money buying trailers if we don't have to. Now this trailer can sometimes be a bit noisy. Sometimes I just unpack it and take the load off. But we're going to see if we can get the trailer out. Here, this one. Oh, it set us up for the cargo containers, has it? Oh, we've also got broken antenna. Oh, that's what it sets up for there. 
We'll get that at the end. We are going to go for... I'm surprised that did that for us. There we go. Power lines is what we want. trailer up ahead for some unbeknownst reason but just pure annoyance is parked facing the wrong way the wrong way for convenience anyway and trying to get it out sometimes it rolls sometimes it really really rolls so we just take out these trees make our own lives easier under a bit. No, it's going to roll. Absolute bugger. Right here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We snuck under it. Thank you very much. But we still still gotta get it out. Just winching just to try and stabilize it a little bit. There I can. Right, so we got it. So we can pick up from here. So those two are like the sensible ones to do last. So we're going to try and Hit that one, or... Oh. Shall I think now? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, 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 we'll go, we'll do that one. That'll be fine. Let's do that. We'll 
grab a little bit more fuel again. Love grabbing a bit of fuel. almost sound like church bells. <laughs> First one down. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't good, was it? Clearly not good. Where can I turn round? A little further up. We'll turn around a bit further up. I was hoping I'd just roll down the edge there a little bit, but we'll turn around up the ways. You dare. But you know what it's thinking about doing even before it starts to do it. You know. So then sort of my idea is that we'll then grab the two belt beams. We'll get the other two power lines up. And then we should be, I think, we should be where the um, cargo container can be picked up for um, fixing the antenna. I think that's roughly around that same sort of spot. What I will do though is just mark, I always get these mixed up. Just. I'll just put that one down there, just to make sure I head down there at that junction. Sometimes I shoot past these junctions. As we've seen with uh, <laughs> other junctions. Sometimes I'm, I've, I've got really good bearings, I know where I am and what I'm doing, and then another time I'm just completely lost, and more so at night. Because as a rule, you know, like many others, I've uh, 
I've usually skipped through nights. See if we can go a little bit quick with auto. Again, it's nice to save a little bit of extra fuel with that high range. But <laughs> using up time if I pull full speed. Well, sometimes it does feel a bit quicker. It's not always, it depends on the vehicle, doesn't it? It depends on your gearbox and depends on your engine as to how efficient high range is. I've on a lot of trucks, and again I've said this many times, on a lot of trucks I don't feel like I'm benefiting at all when I go high range. Like a lot of the time, I think if you're just doing it to avoid the gear changes, then for me personally, if I've stuck a snow runner or an off-road gearbox in it, I might as well go low plus, so then I just flick the diff on whenever we get stuck. Uh, different pokes for different folks and all that. Get on, girl. Get up the hill. It's a long, lonesome drive at night. That's why we need that better planned logistics. Have a better workflow. Second spot that we can pick up. Oh, that trailer's got two on. Oh, let's just go get that. Let's, uh, let's ditch this. Drag this heavy arse about if I don't need to. Otherwise, there another pickup. Honestly, I tell you, I forget things so quick. Now I think it's because this loading point. No, it does have a. 
Now have barrels I think maybe it's because the, the loading point doesn't have a have an actual manual loading spot, but it does. I think. I feel like we're not getting anywhere very quickly at the minute. We want to at least get these poles in. The sun will be coming up soon. When we start up late, we will be finishing late again. Get it back on the track. That was good, wasn't it? Straight into a root cluster. <laughs> My skills know no bounds. If there's something that I hit, like a log <laughs> and a stump, we will. Should have just stepped to the track. I was trying to be smart and go around everything, never mind. Did not pay off, did not pay off. See, turn them around again is a bit of a bit of a bugger on that one, but that's where we're going to go. We're going to go there, try and turn around, and then head straight out. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Talk, keep it tight. I mean, it's not the worst thing if we lose the cargo. We can pick it back up again. We have a crane after all. Not quite a hulk, but we do have a crane.
is on here, isn't it? Like I said, I just forget stuff so quickly. Should have looked at the time as well. Also, I had something pointed out to me the other day on stream that in four years of playing this, I'd never noticed. Four years, never noticed. In the map, we've got a compass after the name and it points to north. I was rotating my map around in Russia and chat was saying, oh, top right, top right, bottom right, top right, bottom right. So, how do I know which is top and right? I've flipped my map so many times. <laughs> It's like the compass, the white bit always points north. It's like, where's the compass? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Just need one that I can bring up here. That's all I need, that little white one, so I know if I'm heading north or south or east or west. And again, I didn't look at what the time was, so I should have, should have looked. We will get this delivered, then we'll, we'll be able to see. We should be fine. We should have about an hour left. Which is about three minutes, to be fair. An hour isn't long. And sometimes you see that, and you say, oh, for me anyway, it's just so tempting to just, right, let's just shoot across there. But then it's twice as long in that swamp than it would be going around. Trust me, I know. I have tried. Tried all the shortcuts. Although when I'm watching other people, I do love it if I see someone that they, just, they take a different route from me, though. I've never thought of. But, oh, man, I love a new route. Or a route, as some may say. There we go, four grand for that one. And 600, oh that's six o'clock. Let's see, let's see, oh. Let's see what we can do with the next, the next down, the next three minutes. If we at least try and back our way in, and get our cargo, because it's not really easy. trailer is a little bit large for it's too slow you know what happened he fit on a flatbed on the back just looking at fuel as well because we've got nothing to bring us fuel here if we uh, if we misjudge it it's going out and driving a new truck in isn't it I was going to reverse in but I think Drive in. We'll drive in, we'll, we'll, we'll try and tow us out. That's what we'll do. Just get a tow in and we should be okay. And we have to pay for that. That is like a forced payment. a little bit nicer to uh, park and leave ourselves so let's have a little look oh no we've still got we still got still got an hour how, how close can we get oh it's going to leave it there 
Although that would allow me to cycle proof my 7 to 7, wouldn't it? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We'll go. We'll say 3 minutes. Maybe it's a little bit more than 3 minutes. I felt sure like an hour was 3 minutes. I'm not going to complain. You know, if we can get closer to the to the point we need to be at, then we'll take it. I think that is definitely going to be time for us. I'm going to call it time. It just makes sense. We're not going to get all the way up there in, in that time. So we'll we'll call it here. That'll be the end of today. And then tomorrow, we'll give ourselves an extra 30. We lost 30. We'll give ourselves an extra 30. You know, so it all balances itself out eventually. Um, but yeah, we got a bit done. A few jobs. And um, yeah, not no, no issues, no roles. Had a little struggle with the trailer, but... That was expected with that trailer. I think if we didn't have that issue, maybe we could have got this delivery done. But anyway, I'll not babble on. We'll try and keep this tight. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And I'll try and get on and get the next one done as soon as possible. Time allowing. And um, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Like I say, there will be more Snow Runner coming live. Instead of being uploaded from a previous live. So uh, notifications on for that if you're interested. And um, there should be some other content releasing as always. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.